I'm a one-name software celebrity, Monty. You can call me Monty Montgomery, I guess. Uh, most people know me as the guy behind Dog Vorbis, at least originally. Uh, I started Ziff.org uh, along with a bunch of friends a long time ago, probably going on, oh, 15 years now. Uh, Vorbis was our first big software success. Uh, I started at Red Hat about three years ago now. They brought me on to keep working on the AUG stuff and uh, media software in general. Right now, I'm working on the Thusnelda encoder, which is an updated encoder for the Theora video format. When stepping back and looking at the big picture, the big media picture uh, for open source, we came to the, I came to the conclusion that uh, we're not doing too bad in audio. Orbis is still a legitimate best-in-class codec, but if you looked at Theora, Theora was really suffering from age. As the person most responsible for at least looking inside the encoder, the inescapable conclusion is that it was in the process of being rewritten, revamped, and so on, when Onto decided to move on to later versions of their video codec and just drop baggage. The, uh, the VP3 source, which eventually became Theora, was, was sort of donated, sort of abandoned to the open source world. It's not clear exactly what the motivations were, but we've got it now. And, and much like Mozilla, it took a long time for people to wrap their heads around it, for us to wrap our heads around it and really start to do something with it. When you look at the reasons people aren't using Theora, there are two of them. The first is, no one's using Theora because no one's using Theora. Vorbis eventually got past that. But there are technical reasons as well, and the technical reasons start with, Theora's out of date. You look at its performance compared to other codecs, and it really doesn't do that well. That's not really what this is about, because you, what's the most popular video codec in the world right now? It's not, it's not MPEG. Go look at what they're using on YouTube. Uh, it's not high quality, it's not particularly modern, in fact, it is the lowest common denominator of everything technical you can think of. I'm not going to call it crap, it's not crap, they're just going for the lowest possible bitrate. But if there's any argument anywhere to make for, people don't care about the encoding quality, it's probably YouTube. But, that said, early adopters do tend to care about coding efficiency, coding quality, and they look at Theora and they say it's out of date. Theora is not technically compelling, why should we be using it? And, frankly, that assessment is correct, and that needs to be addressed. We made that decision last November, I think it was, maybe it was end of October, beginning November, and I said, I really need to improve the encoder. The format itself has its dated aspects. You look at the way it's doing Huffman encoding, you look at the way it's doing semantic tokens, you look at the, and you say, yeah, this kind of screams 1980. But the real problem in Theora is not the bitstream format, the real problem is just the encoder has been, is thoroughly obsolete. It's been entirely surpassed by things that have come, uh, come since. And so what Theora needs is a new encoder, and that's what we've been writing. But the point of the whole project is that it's a next, next generation encoder that shows what you can do with what's essentially a 15-year-old video codec, a 15-year-old format, uh, very, very stable, very well understood, and take the implementation, apply cleverness to the implementation to bring it forward and make it, uh, make it technologically compelling right now. And we're doing that. There are open source implementations of the various commercial patented codecs, uh, like XVID. XVID is an excellent implementation of uh, MPEG-4 video. Uh, but just like there's plenty of open source uh, implementations of MP3, just because it's open source doesn't mean you're actually allowed to use it. And individuals don't have to care, but businesses certainly do. And so until the patent regime comes down, or there are significant changes to the way software patents work, or the uh, software patents in general, we're stuck with the system that we've got. And if you want to do free media, we have to keep the aura up to date. We have to, uh, we have to keep Vorbis and AUG going so that there is some option where the first thing that you're not considering when writing software of any kind is, okay, who do I have to pay first to get the licenses and then we can start development. There will no longer be any technical, uh, compelling technical reason to avoid Theora. Right now you have to look at it and say, yeah, it's behind the times. Uh, with this new encoder, it won't be. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's going to be one of the best out there. And so uh, that solves half the problem. Now all we have to do is uh, change the entire patent system and we're home free.